In this worked example, we're going to look at how you work out the size of a mysterious object based on its temperature and apparent brightness. Let's continue the example from the previous worked example. So we have a sun-like star and we know that it has around it a something which is weighs 300 times the mass of the sun. Now let's say that this mystery thing is 10,000 times fainter than the star, which is sun-like. And let us say we've also measured the spectrum of this mystery thing, and its spectrum peaks at X-ray wavelengths. Because it's emitting X-rays rather than visible light, it must be very hot. And from the X-ray spectrum, we estimate a temperature of about a million degrees, 10 to the 6 Kelvin. So how can we work out the size of this thing, whatever it is? Well, let's do it, as in the lectures, by ratios. We know the Stefan Boltzmann equation, which tells us that the luminosity put out by something is equal to its surface area times the Stefan Boltzmann constant times temperature to the fourth power. So let's take the luminosities of the sun and the luminosity of the strange object and divide them. So you've got L sun divided by L mystery object. It's going to equal to the area. Now area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Now the 4 pi's will cancel because there's going to be a 4 pi on the top and the bottom. So all we're left with is the radius of the sun divided by the radius of the mystery object squared. The Stefan Boltzmann constants cancel. And we have T of the sun, the temperature of the sun, divided by the temperature of the mystery object to the fourth power. OK, so what can we do with this? Well, we know this ratio is equal to 10,000. We know the radius of the sun-like star because it's the same as the sun, and the temperature of the sun-like star. We know the temperature of the mystery object because we've measured it from our X-ray observations, so the only thing we don't know is the radius of the mystery object. So let's rearrange this to get that as a subject. So we know that R sun over R mystery object squared equals L sun over L mystery object. And now if we're taking this over the other side, the temperature over the other side, we have to invert it so we get T mystery object over T sun to the fourth power. Now if we plug numbers into that, uh, this is 10,000. Uh, the temperature of the mystery object is a million degrees, divided by the temperature of the sun, which is about 6,000, which comes out as 7.7 .7 by 10 to the 12. So we've got a square here, so let's take the square root of both sides of the equation. We therefore find that R sun over R mystery object is equal to the square root of this, which comes out as 2.8 by 10 to the 6. So whatever this mystery object is, is 2.8 million times smaller than the sun. The radius of the sun is about 695,000 kilometers. So we find that the radius of the mystery object equals the radius of the sun over 2.8 by 10 to the 6. So that's 695,000 kilometers over 2.8 million, which comes out as 0.25 kilometers, 250 meters. So, this mystery thing is extraordinarily, unbelievably small. 
Now, there are a few assumptions in here. We've assumed that the thing is radiating as a black body, so the Stefan Boltzmann equation works. There are other ways that radiation can be produced, like lasers or synchrotron radiation, which would make this invalid. But if it was the case, we've got something weighing 300 times the mass of the sun and only 250 meters. Hmm, that sounds like a black hole to me. But if it was a black hole, it wouldn't be shining. So this is probably an impossible combination I made up for this worked example.